I got one question for you. How's everybody doing today, huh? Are you doing all right? Are you feeling good? Are you ready for the greatest science party on the planet? In a, in a moment, we're gonna have some introductory words from our leader, Garrick Israelian, the main guy who's done it all, who started it all. He's gonna introduce us to the festival and then he'll give this back. Thank you very much, David. Thank you very much, David, and uh, hello, Bratislava. The opening of Starmus was actually yesterday, so Jean-Michel Jarre, a board member of Starmus Advisory Board, has opened the festival. It was very cool. I'm sure you, everyone enjoyed the opening. And today we kick off with lectures. And the day after tomorrow, we have the Stephen Hawking Medal Ceremony. First of all, I want to say that we are thrilled. We are really happy to be in the center of Europe, in Bratislava and Slovakia, for the seventh edition of Starmus, which is very special, which is dedicated to our home planet. And uh, it also Starmus with two new advisory board members, with Jane Good and Jean-Michel Jarl. So a very, very special edition. And uh, uh, we will have many surprises, especially at the Stephen Hawking Medal. And uh, we, one of them was revealed today, actually. We announced that uh, Brian May will be a special guest with the offspring for the Stephen Hawking Medal Ceremony. <laughs> and there will be more news coming. And, uh, well, I want to thank uh, our main partner, who this beautiful country, Asset, and thanks to Asset, we are here. <laughs> and, and, we, and the second thing, we are really happy to see technology company who values science, who values science communications, and we are very much looking forward for a long-term partnership with, with Asset, and uh, this is only the beginning. So thank you very much, I said. And I also want to thank all our partners, also VUB Bank here, Omega, Secure. So everyone, thanks very much for helping supporting Starmus. So I give the stage to David. Thank you. Thank you, Garrick. And it's a pleasure to be with you. I'm Dave Eicher, I'm the editor of Astronomy Magazine, and some years ago these guys took pity on me and allowed me to join the Starmus board. So it's really a pleasure and a privilege to be, let's hear it for the founder and the director of Starmus, Garrick Israelian. Let's hear it for the co-founder of Starmus, and he plays a hell of a guitar you may have seen this last night, as recently as last night, Brian May. <laughs> Along with Garrick and Brian, I'm really proud to be on the Starmus board, and I'd like also to mention the board members because really their energy and wisdom and knowledge get this whole train moving along with Garrick and Brian's vision. They include Richard Dawkins. <laughs> Emmanuel Charpentier. <laughs> Peter Gabriel. <laughs> Jill Tarter. Tony Fidel, <laughs> Anne
and we're really, really, really pleased and proud to have added two people to the board very recently who are very special people. Let's hear it for Jane Goodall. And how about Jean-Michel Jarre? These folks all help us to make Starmus all that it can be, and it's very exciting. There's no other science festival, either with science or the arts or with rock and roll. It's anything like this. I think you'll have a phenomenal time this week, so it's really a pleasing thing. We have a little bit of a new direction that we're going to add to Starmus in our seventh incarnation here, and that is taking care of planet Earth. A lot of us early on in Starmus were astronomers, you know, and the universe is a big place. We know that our star gives us the energy, the heat and light to be alive on this fragile blue earth here, that it's one of maybe two to 400 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. And we didn't know this 50 years ago that there are at least 100 billion galaxies in the universe. So out of all those at conservatively 10,000 billion billion stars, we know of one planetary system where life is possible. So we need to take care of this ecosystem on Earth and all of its inhabitants, not just for us, but for many, many years into the future, because we know that the sun will not boil the oceans off of Earth for about a billion years. So we have a long journey to go together as people and all the other inhabitants on this planet. We don't want to ruin it. Today we're going to hear a lot about the environment and what we can do.